In this video, we will review how to format a report. To format a report into multiple columns, open the report in Design View. Click the Page Setup tab. Click Columns in the Page Layout group. For this example, we need two columns with a 3.75 inch width, and the layout needs to be down and then across. Click OK and then preview the report to ensure that the columns display properly. To add a calculated field to a report, return to Design View. Click the Design tab if necessary. And for this example, we want to add a text box control. Click on it and then add it to the appropriate area of the report. We do not need the label for the control. So click on it and press delete. Now we will calculate a markup price using this control so you can see that we already have the label for it. Right click on the new control and click properties to display the property sheet. You can give the control a name if you'd like. And then right click in the control source area and click on build. For this particular example we want to calculate the markup price so that will be retail price minus wholesale. And be careful with IntelliSense make sure you get the actual control itself and not the label. When you finish the equation click OK. Now we need to format this control to match these others. Click on the retail price control, click the home tab, click the format painter, and then click the new control. So now the controls will match. Now let's move this control to position it and it's too wide. We want it to be exactly 0.5 inches so we can bring the property sheet back up and enter a custom width of 0 0.5 inches. And then if necessary you can drag it again or you can use the arrow keys to nudge it. Anytime you add a control, especially a calculated control, always preview it to make sure that your math is correct. And then the last thing we want to do, we want to set the format to currency so that it will match the other controls. Now let's take a look at setting margins. To do that you return to the page setup tab, look in the page size group and if you are given specific margins like wide or narrow you can select them here. If you need to enter custom margins click on the page, excuse me, page setup button and then enter the margins. Notice the other options available too such as print data only, you can choose custom page, uh, excuse me, paper sizes, uh, default or specific printers, and then we've already looked at columns. So just make sure that you review all of the items in the page setup dialog box. And for this particular example, we will enter 0.26 for the top and bottom margins, and then click OK. To add a background to the report, we first need to edit the report in this particular example so that it will have a single column. It won't look right with a background if we don't change the columns back. So we can go back into columns, we'll change it back to 1 and the width of the column will be 8. Then we can click the Format tab, click on Background Image, and you need to browse for the image. 
and in this particular example we're looking for background.jpg. Click on the image and then click OK and you can see that it does add it to the background of the report. And then let's just look at it in print preview to see what it looks like. If you want to remove the background image you can return to design view display the property sheet. Make sure you choose the report selector and then you can remove the picture property. Press enter and then click yes. To change report orientation return to page setup and we've already discussed some of this. You can see here you've got landscape and portrait. So that's how you would change the report orientation. To change the sort order of the report, make sure you return to the design tab and make sure the group and sort pane is displayed. And then you can add a sort modified. I think we talked about this in a previous video, so this will just be a review. You can see that this one is grouped by album title and then it is also sorted by album title. If I wanted to add another sort, I could and then just choose maybe we want to sort by on hand quantity or something and you can add that and you can choose whether it is smallest to largest or largest to smallest. If you need more options you can click more and you can see the rest of them. And then if you need to remove a sort you simply click delete. To insert a header or a footer, return to, the, excuse me, return to the design tab if necessary, find the header and footer group, and then for this particular example we want to expand the height of the page footer. And then we want to insert the date in the left portion of the page footer. So select it click on date and time and this time we will include the time you can opt to, to take that away choose a format for the date and then click OK and you can see that even though we selected the page footer it still added it to the header so you can select the controls cut them and then paste them into the page footer. And for this particular example it would look better if they are left aligned and you can choose that in the text formatting group. Next we want to take a look at inserting images in a report. This is similar to backgrounds. Um, we will return to the design tab and then let's click in the page footer, click on insert image, browse for the image, click on it, and then click OK. And then you have to click in the desired area of the report to insert the image. And you can see that that image is not that large but it did make the page footer larger so we will adjust the height of the page footer. Now let's take a look at inserting page numbers. Again we will insert this in the page footer. Click on the page numbers button in the header and footer group and then choose a format. For this one we'll do page N of M at the bottom of the page and the alignment can be centered, left, right, inside or outside, we'll just go with center. And you can control whether or not the number is shown on the first page and then click OK. And you can see that we now have the date and time pages and a graphic in the page footer. To apply a theme to a report, 
return to the Design tab if necessary, find the Themes button, hover the mouse over the themes so that you find the correct one, and then if you want to apply the theme to the entire database, simply left click it. If you want to apply it to this report only, right click on it and then just apply it to this, excuse me, apply it to this object only. And now would probably be a good time to save the report. and then close it. To finish up, we want to take a look at how to modify an existing report. Open Song List in Layout View. First of all, we need to delete the Song ID column. Right-click one of the songs and then click on Delete Column. Next, we want to sort by song title, so click on one of the songs. You could use the Group and Sort pane but for a simple sort, it's easier to click the Home tab and then choose Ascending or Descending. Next, we need to move the Album ID column. To do that, click on the Column Heading, click the Arrange tab, click Select Column, and now that the entire column is selected, you can drag the column to move it. This tends to work better. You could do this in design view, but it does work better in layout view. Next, we want to change the alternate back color for the detail area of the report. To do that, click over here in a blank area, right click, click properties to bring up the property sheet, and then for the alternate back color, you will choose no color and you can see how that does away with the pale gray color. Return to design view. Now we want to change the back color of the report header section. So click on the report header section to select it. Right click, click properties, find the back color and we want gold, accent 4, lighter 60%. And you can see that that is not available here. You will have to click on the ellipsis. And then hover over the colors to ensure that you select the correct one. Press enter after choosing the color to ensure that it accepts it. The height of the report header section needs to be 0.6 inches. So we will simply change that and then press enter after doing so. Now, if you look at the two labels here, they have a border around them. I'm going to draw a box around both controls so that we can remove the border from both of those at the same time. To remove a border, your border style needs to be transparent and then press enter. And then lastly, we want to change the caption for the report. To do that, click on the report selector, find the caption property, and then enter song list. Again, make sure you press enter after modifying one of the properties. Close the property sheet, save the report, print preview it if you would like, and then close the report. On the exam, you need to make sure you follow the instructions. If it tells you to save it and leave it open, make sure you leave it open so that it will score it accurately.